the, there are two questions I have to ask. Go ahead. The first one's kind of fun. Aliens. I want to talk to you about aliens. Yeah. UFOs, UAPs. I know. The disclosure we've seen in Congress yeah. recently. It's, it's, it's confusing and upsetting a lot of Americans because something's going, there's something happening. There are unidentified aerial phenomena in the sky. We don't know what they are. Do you? So it's such a, a, a question I do get a lot, and it's such an interesting question. I've met with pilots that look just like you, actually. Okay, they have more of a crew cut. Okay, they, they look like him, and they look like you. Some of them look like you. A little fatter. But the, these are perfect people. Okay. And they're not, not you crazy. Know, conspiratorial. Yeah. They're right. not crazy. Yeah. And they tell me stories that they've seen things that you wouldn't believe. These are not people that you would say, There's gee, no oh, that's no okay. Way. President of the United States. But I said, was who is it? Silent? That's Joe Biden wanting to do an interview. <laughs> so I met with pilots like beautiful Tom Cruise, but taller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Handsome, perfect people. Sir, there was something there that was round in form and going like four times faster than my super jet fighter plane. Wow. And I look at these guys and they really mean it. Yeah. And am I a believer? No, I probably, I can't say I am. But I have met with people that are serious people that say there's some really strange things that they see flying around out there. And you know, if you go to Nevada and you look at that little section of, of uh, where, where they go to look at uh, the aliens, where they think all the aliens are landing, that, you know, it's one of, I think it's a, Maybe the number one tourist attraction in the United Ros States. Roswell? Yeah. Yeah. Roswell. It's, I think it's the number one. It, <laughs> it's the lines of people. <laughs> it, it, you have no idea how many times I'm asked that question. But don't you have access to that information? I have access, but, and I, I speak to people about it. I've had actually meetings on it. And they will tell you there's something going on. When they say things, things are going four times faster than my beautiful... So he has access to the information, but it doesn't seem like he can disclose very much because he's saying, I yeah. have access and but people I, are talking mm, about it, but he's not giving you any he's inclination. He's not saying what they're saying at those meetings. Exactly. Just the simple fact of one of the guys saying, I saw something fast. But yeah, then no, that, that'd that be. But it's so funny. If you listen to what he said, and then also if you go back and clip it back to what Obama said in a while ago, he was like, yes, yeah, I'm not. He was like, yeah, but he was like, yeah, it's, I, don't, I don't think it's something. And then when then he went back and said it was something. But they all aware of something. But how much are they privy to? How much they need to know? Some some stuff the president don't need to know everything. It's gonna be classified stuff. There's so much classified information. The president don't know every bit of classified information. But they they've already faced Congress about this. I mean, it's, it's the, the oh yeah, the, no, 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 no. It, that's real. The service it, guys have already said, but real. they've seen and this. I mean, it's they've but shown they, us. But they can't have them focus on one particular thing. Now, if it got to a point where this alien touchdown and just disrupt the country, then they're going to be heavily involved and everything is going to come out. But of course, they, um, but I just wonder, like if he's seen anything, but can't really share. Cause I know they can't, of course, of course, I mean, our, our brains as, as, as the citizens in, in a country. And I think this is just like all over the world, people in general in, in that particular place. It's like our brains can't handle all of what they're, they know and what they can handle and what they're doing behind the scenes. Yeah. I just don't feel like, we need to know that if you're in the service and you have privy to information that other people, I mean, because it doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. to for them to have it. That's why I feel like, you know, they so, so many of them go through such scrutiny when oh, it yeah. comes to certain certain oh, yeah. levels in the services, because mindset wise, they can that person can handle it. Mm -hmm. Whereas you have this person, they can't handle that information. Yeah. So we don't need to know. I don't want to know every single thing. Yeah, like you said, a person needs to be able to handle it, and they're groomed to be able to handle it, and they have certain level of access because they can handle it. Because somebody tell you alien and drugs, somebody in the basement, and then you try to tell that the person has clearance to talk about, it, and then you tell the person that has no clearance that's that's right here, you know, and you right here in the city. And why your neighbors next next door have shut down, moved the house, kids done changed school, and they house up for sale, and you don't know nothing. They didn't order <laughs> all the military helmets. Uh, they are gone. Now you see them packing up. Um, where are the Johnsons going? Oh yeah, they they decided to move to um Vegas or right. wherever. All right, know, Arkansas. Like, to, wherever the, the, Roswell. <laughs> Top of the line. What was it? <laughs> An airplane that goes. You know, Mach real fast. with no identifiable propulsion Mach system. Two. Yeah, right. These, these things are creating their own gravity fields, allegedly. Well, they they have they have uh, people 
that are very smart and very solid have said they believe there is something out there. And, you know, it makes sense that there could be. I've never been convinced, even despite that. You know, mm -hmm. I just, for some reason, it's not my thing. But a lot of people believe that it's true. A lot of very good, solid people believe it's true. Hmm. What? And you I have... know there are illegal aliens out there, but those are the ones that come through the border. <laughs> <We're plenty laughs> those are the ones I know. You say aliens. I say, are they illegal aliens? <laughs> these, are, these, these might be illegal, but we don't want to test them. <laughs> because if they can go four times faster, we're not going to test I them. I don't want now, day uh, of it. No, but so it's an interesting question. Yeah. We don't want any oh, day man. of any real U UAPs, demonic forces this that have Nephilim um, <laughs> dimensional. Because when you talk about the thing of aliens, y'all have to understand that the time it takes to travel, even at four times the speed of light, and they live on another planet, it would take them forever to still get home, even at unimaginable speeds. So what does that mean? It's dimensional. If it's coming through dimensional, then you talking about alien. You talking about demonic alien kind of style demonic stuff in dimensionals because God lives in a different dimension. He just not when you look up. I'm right here in space. It's a different dimension that you don't have access to. Just like I believe with the aliens. That's why if some of them pass through from time to time. But if we could see how many were over there, we would be in petrified to leave our houses. God, God made sure that they, that veil was thick. I like how Trump is, you know, his sense of humor is just, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I love, I, I yeah. love it. Mm -hmm. But I really Me like too. the fact that he had that interview with them. You know, he sat down and he was a lot more relaxed. And yeah. I, when he when in the interviews that he has to me. He's not always relaxed because he has to answer some tough yeah, questions. He was that in he's a good getting, vibe. Yeah. yeah, he was getting on some, you know, some real strenuous topics. Yeah. But even though some of the things they were asking him were, you know, similar, mm -hmm. it was just different. Different, yeah. Younger people, I'm not really a fan of um, of Logan Paul. Um, but Why? Uh, I just think some of the his, you know, controversial, you know, things that he's, that I've seen, I'm just like, mm, but I haven't, I haven't taken a deep dive into I, I his gotcha, content. I got gotcha, you. Gotcha. So that's that's why I don't know the guy, never met him, and I don't really watch his content. So gotcha. that's why I'm saying that. I'm I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying he's a bad person or anything like that. I just haven't been a fan of what I've seen so gotcha, far. Gotcha. Okay. But anyway, I like the fact that they had that interview with him, and it just felt like you know they were talking to Uncle Trump. You know. That's but the vibe. But they, you, it was very respectful. Have you noticed the alien conversation keeps going? Not just this one, but the conversation on in the world is up and down, right? Like it's hot topic. Something happened. That's hot topic, and then it calms down. People ain't talking about it. I mean, and then, you but pick it and keeps, choose but your it battles. keeps amplifying though. It's like it's a hot topic. It's like this, right? Oh, let me. Y'all can't see my hand. It's a hot topic. It goes like this, and then it goes down. Then it's a hotter topic on it, and then it goes like this. I and think down. And then it's people a have to and pick and choose. I'm telling you, we ain't got their to, battles we, we because get, it's too many things that's going on right now. So if there's no need for us to worry about it, then. It's said, no need for you us said to we worry can't, we about can't it. Focus we can't on, focus on we that We can't right focus now. on the border and real ones We need to get the right man in office that can be able to put the right people in place that can handle it. Because we already know they're out there. They done shown up here recently, Multiple. a lot lately. Yeah, a so, lot. But it's no, it's, it's no secret. They've always been around. Yeah. And that was my question, too. I wonder, have they ever taken him to that area where the aliens are? And, excuse me, the area of government. To, I think all presidents get to see that. But if he says he's not a believer, which means to me he's not really, you maybe, know, maybe they he ain't didn't too convinced. Show, maybe they didn't show he didn't go see. I guess or maybe it's level of interest. If a president really wants to see something, then they will. On quiet time, take him over to see what they want to see. But Trump may, may not be super interested because he already knows stuff out there and I don't need to see it. Right. So maybe so. Maybe that's just what his response, you know. You know, my favorite movie to see every 4th of July, Independence Day. Yeah, that is maybe that's his response for that that type of question, because he said those people are solid, solid. So that means, yeah, yes. so they're reputable resources and he trusts their input. But yet he's like, he ain't too convinced. They but, said it. But so maybe but my he, question is, how can you not be convinced when you got these solid people that's telling you the stuff is out there? Maybe that's his way of moving out of the space of him knowing any information or just even maybe being able to have to address it or, or, or deal with it. Like, or talk about it on those types of interviews. You know what I'm saying? Because ex Trump, ex um, ex um, um, somebody called Joe Biden. They called um Joe Dementia. Um, they said ex. I bet you if you ask Joe Biden, hey, what do you think about aliens? 
what are you talking about? There's no such thing. I, I mean, guarantee you'd be lying so much. Even Trump would be like, yeah, they told me that, but I don't really know. But they told me that. Obama even said, he said, yeah, we've got some, so heard of some unidentified things, but we don't know. So they all kind of say pretty much stay in that, no matter which president it is. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's just the general, you know, um, imprinted response that they give, whether they know in depth or not. Because if you got the Air Force and the, the guys who are out there flying every day yeah. in our zones to make sure we stay safe, and they've seen things. I mean, come on. If you don't trust them, who can you trust? Who can you trust? Who can you run I, to? I love those. I love. Now, I love that interview with Trump um, Yeah. With you all Trump need to Logan check it Paul. out. It's, it's really, and really good. Especially topics when you talk about UAPs. That's always been an interest of topics. But that was a great interview, the whole thing, because the, he's really laid back. We have another piece of the interview we're going to do. It's just on the particular topics. Um but y'all should check it out on Logan's on Logan's page. And uh, Trump seemed really relaxed on this he one, really did. chill. Like he really enjoyed it. He enjoyed being there with them. You could see, you know, the giddiness and and they, and they brought out some some of his youthfulness, just like mm -hmm. being with your smart, <laughs> rich uncle. All right. Yeah. All right, man. Twenty twenty four. Be more. Talk less. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.